Properly introducing your athlete to the Assault Air Runner is gonna really help them become more comfortable with the equipment and provide a better understanding of how to walk and then eventually run on the treadmill. So the first thing you wanna do is get an athlete on the treadmill and just have them stand nice and still. You wanna get them comfortable finding the point on the treadmill where it doesn't move at all. Okay, this is the point of balance. Once they're here, we can go over posture just a little bit. Let's have them stand there, have their chest up, make sure they're looking straight, make sure they're squeezing their belly the whole time. Make sure that the shoulders are over the hips and the hips are over the ankles. This is gonna be a great posture for standing and then a great posture for running. From here, we're gonna have them grab the handles and start walking. In order to walk, all they have to do is just scoot up a little bit on the tread because of the curvature of the treadmill. They'll scoot up and start walking while holding on. Once again, we can coach this optimal posture position, which is chest up, looking forward, and making sure that the torso is in perfect alignment. Once they're comfortable walking with their hands on, we can take their hands off and walk here. And then when we're ready to run, all we really need to do because of that curvature is scoot up a little bit further on the treadmill. We'll have them scoot up just a little bit to promote a more of a jogging experience. And then once again, coaching that torso position or the posture of shoulders over hips, over ankles while running. And that's the proper way to introduce an athlete to the Assault Air Runner.